Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavind Mishra and in this video we will be writing the data into the Excel file using Apache POI li Java library. Okay, so far we have seen how to read the data from the uh, Excel file and in this program we will be writing the data into the Excel file. Okay, so we are going to use the Apache uh, POI uh, uh, Java libraries again uh, to write the data into the Excel file. Okay, so this is my uh, project which we have created in pre uh, previous video and uh, I'll quickly show you like what all dependencies we had added into the pom.xml so this is that uh, poi o xml um, uh, poi uh, dependencies which you have to add and uh, along with that i added uh, uh, selenium java uh, dependencies okay so nothing uh, much uh, required actually to write the data into the excel file so let us go to project and uh, src test java you need to navigate to this uh, default package just create a class file called excel writer excel writer okay click on finish and what we will do we will be writing actually the main method here so inside main method what we are going to do we are going to just create the object of xss f because we are uh, going to write into the uh, xls x file okay which is the latest uh, from the microsoft okay earlier we used to use uh, xls extension okay in the old previous uh, microsoft office we used to get uh, xls extension now the latest is like uh, xls x okay so this Apache uh, Apache POI library is used to you know write and manip uh, write read uh, and manipulate the Microsoft uh, document. Okay, so now we are going to create the workbook, the class XSF and workbook. So let us create the object of this particular team class, new XSF workbook. Okay. And then uh, what we will do we will create the uh, sheet okay so whatever uh, sheet you want to you know create uh, whatever name you want to give to uh, give to that uh, you know sheet you can give using this uh, particular you know object so let us create the object of that new xss a sheet if you are creating so you are going to create inside the uh, let us not uh, let us write workbook okay not the workflow workbook it can be anything but yeah just for naming convention i mean it should be very intuitive right so what we are going to do we are going to create the sheet inside the workbook okay so just give a name called sheet one okay it can be anything okay and then uh, what you will do you have to create the row okay and then give header row new uh, header row so which include the uh, like uh, what all a uh, field name you want to you know give it to uh, uh, that particular you know sheet uh, now that, that uh, within the excel file right sheet dot then we will be creating the row okay and uh, yeah of course that is the first uh, row so we are starting from the zeroth index okay so now here you can use uh, either use the xss xsf row and let me just include that and uh, then once the header row is uh, uh, declared then you can uh, create the shell and uh, set the cell value okay so for the header row so let me just uh, create the header row and uh, create create shell on the zeroth index and in the so we will be creating the set inside this we will be creating the set cell value okay create set cell value so this is going to be uh, my let's say name or username i'll mention that username okay name or i can say employee name employee 
by name okay and then uh, i'll create a couple of more line like this wherein we will be set, uh, setting in the create cell uh, second so mind you uh, this is going to be uh, your first row and uh, you are going to add three these three column into that uh, uh, row okay is and you can in the second column okay which is going to be your third column basically because we, because uh, we are starting from the zeroth index right so just department or maybe address you can mention depth okay and then i will create the one more row um, data row basically so this is going to be something like l create the data row and this is going to be my second row okay so inside this i'll be writing a couple of okay let me just quickly copy and i can give raghavendra is can be anything department okay the department is like it department okay or software you can mention your bu and all okay and here you are going to use the data row because you are writing into the data row in the second row basically okay you are not writing into otherwise it will overwrite so that's it and then what you will do you will uh, uh, write the workbook to a file okay so how you will do that so you need to create the object of output stream and uh, this is going to be your file out or something out stream right file output stream new file output stream just give the workbook name so maybe your workbook employee workbook employee dot xls xls x okay and then uh, what you are going to do you have created the uh, object of workbook so using that you are going to write into the file excel file okay so this is going to be the file out statement just import the variables which are not imported or add let it be inside the try catch so i'm going to give try right from starting from the main method and then we are going to write inside just paste this statement inside this somewhere file out then is there anything wrong file out workbook dot write file out that's fine and then this again need to be surrounded by the so workbook and let me see so it is saying it have to add this into the try catch block okay let's add that and then we are good right so x so we have we, we are able to you know write so let us um, you know write the statement saying uh, you know excel file created successfully or something okay and we'll we will verify if that particular you know those these records basically have gone into that uh, excel sheet or not excel file has been or created successfully okay so all good i think uh, this program looks good so let us quickly recheck 
yeah so we have created the work work object and then we have created a sheet called sheet one and then in the first row we have added employee agent department zero when we have set the value we have created a um, object of a row class xss f row class and we are actually assigning a second row to this particular you know variable and in that we are adding this okay once everything is set we are creating a object of the file output uh, stream and we are creating a file called employee.xlsx uh, and we are writing into that file okay and we are we can close the stream also so we have we have uh, just a write, a written uh, to this particular you know, file okay so let us let us uh, see if that file is already there or not so you will not see this file anywhere in the project let me refresh and uh, so there is no file and now after we execute this uh, program and if it is executed successfully it is supposed to execute or uh, it is supposed to create the file okay yeah see it has been created successfully we can make some exclamatory statement maybe something like this make more sense so let us uh, refresh it again and uh, it should be created inside the same project or you can give the name also if you want uh, refresh employee see it has been created and now let me go to the property and location and see like what all uh, you know data has been written into this okay see employee is department and uh, it has successfully you know uh, written whatever uh, you know data we have uh, actually uh, provided uh, to this particular you know workbook okay to sheet to this particular you know sheet inside the workbook okay so i hope uh, uh, you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section so i will see you in next video uh, till then keep learning and thanks for watching